Hello everybody, welcome to another scripting tutorial. So, as you could have guessed in the title, this is going to be a tutorial on animations, uh, specifically how to actually use the animation editor plugin. Um, now, this is part one of two, so in a second part I'll be showing you how to actually animate your character with the animation that you made, but this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to actually make the animation. So, because um, otherwise the tutorial would be way too long and uh, I'd be here all day. Right, so first, if you want to actually get the plugin, uh, the animation editor plugin, you need to go to the plugins tab, okay, in Roblox Studio, and click on to manage plugins, okay. Then click on to find plugins, and then you should be in your library, um, and it should take you to the plugins tab in your library. Now when you're there click onto the animation editor plugin if you can't see this then try going to sort by best selling um, and you should you should find the animation editor plugin uh, it should be made by Roblox as well and once you find that click on to install now I've already got mine installed so it's going to say reinstall for, my, for me but for you it should say install so click on it um, download it and then what you need to do is you need to restart Roblox Studio so close Roblox Studio, reopen it, and make a new place. And once you do that, you should click onto the plugins tab, and um, this will only work once you've made a new place. By the way, uh, you should find your animation editor, create block rig, create man rig, woman rig, and mesh rig. Now, if I try and uh, click on one to any of those rigs, um, we should be presented with a dummy. Okay. Um, now this is mesh rig, so it gives you a mesh rig dummy. Uh, woman rig dummy will give you a woman character. Man rig obviously will give you a man shaped character, um, right? And uh, block rig will give you a block shaped character, which is the one that I'm going to be using. You could use any one of those you want. You can use any rigs you want. It depends what your character in the game looks like. I don't know, but I'm going to be using a dummy, okay? Because uh, I want everybody in my game to be looking like this block, block shaped character. Oh crap! What have I done? Okay, so. Um, First, to get started, you need to click onto the animation editor now. Click the animation editor button. Uh, oh, we select. We presented with a GUI. Um, it says select the base of the object to animate. Right. We need to click onto the torso of the of this dummy. Click the torso and then click OK. Okay then. Right. We are good to go. Now, this big GUI here is the animation editor. Um, I'm gonna show you bits of this editor editor now uh, and how it works so here you've got the timeline okay uh, this is what you want your dummy here to look like over the period of two seconds as you can see if you want the animation to last longer than two seconds all you've got to do is click onto the end of the um, end of the timeline so where it says two seconds just click after that just click slightly around that area. Click onto the two. Click onto the two seconds. And it, you should be uh, given a GUI. It says animation length. You can change it to, I don't know, you can change it to three seconds. You can make it one second if you want. I'm going to keep mine at two seconds though. Um, okay. But you can change the time of your animation like that. Um, you can also make your animation loop automatically by um, clicking on the loop box to make it a sort of beigey color. Uh, if you don't want your animation to loop, then make sure it's dark gray black color. Okay. Um, down here on the left side, um, we should see the words torso, left leg, right leg, and blah blah blah. Um, each of these boxes, uh, whilst they are beige, whilst each box has a beigey color, uh, which I believe is selected as a selected box, um, that means that you are going to be animating that part of the uh, of the body of the dummy. Um, if you click onto say the torso, the left leg and the right leg and make them dark grey black colour um, then you're not going to be animating those parts and your animation will not override anything that's already happening on those parts so let's say your character is walking okay the walking animation will be playing um, which uses the left leg and the right leg and I think it also uses your arms as well but if you deselect your right leg and your left leg 
when you play your animation that you make this will not affect the legs of the dummy so if you're walking whilst playing the animation then your walking the, the walking animation will still play whereas if I check these boxes here for right leg and left leg then my legs will be still my legs will be standing still when I'm trying to walk or they will be doing whatever I have told them to do in the animation um, instead of the walking animation okay so we're going to be animating the head um, right arm and left arm today uh, you can animate what you want but I'm, I'm going to be animating the left uh, arm right arm and head therefore I will deselect the torso left leg and right leg and I will only have the right arm left arm and head um, checked in the boxes here okay now you probably have also noticed this plus sign here um, ignore that for now because we'll get to that once we've finished the animation okay then so now that we have left arm right arm and head selected we can click onto the dummies left arm uh, right arm and head and we can start to rotate um, the, the, the different body parts um, now before we do this have a look down here in the bottom left of the screen we can see the word step and it says free in one of the boxes um, this means that when you rotate the part it has a free form grid you're rotating it on a free form grid um, if I click on the step box it changes it to step 10 which means that every rotation is 10 degrees now we're rotating by 10 degrees every rotation and if I click on it again we are rotating every part by 45 degrees now okay um, I'm going to be using the free um, the free form thing but you would normally use the 10 or the 45 degrees if you want to get sort of symmetrical um, animations if you want to move both arms and they want to be exactly the same um, rotate you, you want to rotate them both exactly the same you'd probably use a 10 or the 45 degrees rather than the free form because you're most likely to be more accurate with the 10 and 45 degrees rotations so you can also click on the box that says rotate and you can start moving parts around as well and that will move in your animation okay but I'm going to be rotating only now notice here there is a red sort of um, square around the zero of, on, on the timeline and there's a red line that goes down here on the zero of the timeline this is what your character will look like at the beginning of the animation if I click onto the one second time on my timeline whatever I change on this dummy will change on my character after one second and it will be a smooth transition as well so if I rotate my arms up like this whoops ooh, I can't select it. I can't select my arm. What's happening? Hold on. Let me just redo that. Deselect that and click onto one second. So if I click on. Oh my god, what the hell has happened? <laughs> I think it's broken. Hold on. Uh, cancel. Animation editor. Humanoid torso. Okay yeah it, it's broken <laughs> hold on uh, I'm gonna restart Roblox Studio because I think it's broken let me just pause the recording while I do that okay I'm back uh, I don't actually need to reset it I just needed to close the animation editor and reopen it for some I don't know why that happened anyway I'm gonna get back to where I was so I'm gonna deselect torso left leg and right leg because I'm not gonna be animating those uh, this is what my character looks like at the beginning of the animation after one second okay I'm gonna click the one second um, area on the timeline after one second I want my character to look like this I want his arms to be up okay I want his arms to be up like this um, in fact I'm gonna move his arm down like this a bit there we go I want my character to look like this after one second so notice how two purple squares have appeared on the uh, timeline as well this is these are the keyframes for um, for the animation so after one second this square indicates that this is the final position that the arm should be in after one second okay as you can see I've put one second up here um, and that's just the keyframe okay so now if I go to the plus button and I click play now notice watch the animation look at that see and it moves so when you click play it takes a while for the animation to load um, so it should take some time and then the animation will start to play. Right. 
now after let's say 1.3 seconds if I click 1.3 I want my dummy's head to be rotated backwards like this oh my goodness what the hell have I done oh yeah he looks very happy he yeah, the dummy looks very happy now uh, in fact I'm gonna move the head upwards like this a bit I'm gonna move the arms out like this I know this is probably not really what happens in real life but um, I'm just doing this for the sake of the tutorial. Um, so yes, after 1.3 seconds, I want my character to look like this. And then after 1.8 seconds, I want all the limbs to come back down. Thank you very much. Um, back down here. And then after 1.9 seconds, I want the dummy's head to be back in a normal position. I want his arms to be down like this. Back down. Oops, I'm going to have to move them a little bit. Yeah, this tool takes a little bit of playing around with. You're probably not going to get it perfectly on the first go. But anyway, <laughs> let's me look at that. His arm's all the way down there. Oh. Okay then. So yes, after 1.9 seconds, I've clicked onto the 1.9 second area, and I want my animation to look like this. And now, that's pretty much done. Um, I can click onto the plus button. I can click onto play, and let's see what happens. Ooh, ooh, you see that? it works works how I want it to do now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the plus button now that my animation is done I've tested it out I, I, I like the way it looks and I want to export it so I'm going to click on to export I'm now going to whoops when it loads click create new and I'm now going to give it a name um, I'm going to call it peas and I'm going to give it a description of tutorial for the peeps on YouTube. Okay then, um, I'm now going to click finish and it's as easy as that. That is how you make an animation. Right. Okay then, so yep that's it. If you do find that when you start to use the animation if you find that you don't actually like one bit of the animation and you want to kind of change it around you can always, um, if I close the animation editor first and then I click cancel and then I reopen it, you can always click on to, you can always reopen the animation editor and you can click onto the plus sign, click on to import, but before you do that you need the ID of, of your animation. So go into the Roblox website, go click on to develop, click on to animations and click your animation that you just made. And then in the URL of the um, of the of your animation, you need to get the ID of your animation. Okay, just copy the number here. Uh, click copy or Control C, and then click onto the plus sign on your animation uh, editor. Click onto Import. When it asks you for your animation ID, uh, paste it in there and click OK. And boom, your animation loads up. Uh, whatever you want to change, whether it be halfway through the animation. Um, okay let's say I don't want my head to move I want my head to stay back down here I will do that okay <laughs> I'll put the head back there and I'll rotate it to however I want it to look like I will then test it out I'll click play there we go stays in the same place now that's how I want it to look like I will then click the plus sign again I will click export and when it loads Oops, what's happening? I will click onto my animation that I just made, which is peas. I will just overwrite it. I've just clicked on it. It's taking a little time for it to load. There we go. And that's how you do that. Um, oops, I should have had torso deselected. But anyway, that's how you do that. Now you do notice there are some other buttons as well. There's save, there's load, there's reset, and there's debug. Reset, obviously, click it and it resets the animation. Uh, debug, I haven't actually used debug yet. I don't even know what the hell it does. Probably debugging something. I don't know what there is to debug, but look, it doesn't even, the button doesn't even do anything. Uh, well, it probably does, but <laughs> I don't think I'm using it correctly. But anyway, um, if you want to learn more about the animation editor, go into the Roblox wiki or go into Google, type in Roblox animation wiki and search more stuff up about this animation editor timeline. Um, but I've taught you just about what you need to know about um, animations. Oh, also I forgot one thing. Notice how there is this button here, it says priority. If I click onto the button, 
I'm here we go it says core idle movement in action now these are the different priority levels for your animation so think of action as number one movement as two idle as three and core as four action is the highest priority okay so if your animation is action it will override any other animation that's playing so if you want your animation to play over your um, over the default walking animation then I would make it action if I were you okay and also if you're holding a tool um, in your right arm and you want your character to animate when you click the mouse then your priority setting needs to be action if you want your right arm to actually move because otherwise uh, it won't move because the animation of your right arm being lifted up when you're holding a tool will override your animation that you made so make sure it's action if you want your um, animation to override anything and if you have multiple animations playing in the in your character at the same time then it's best to you know select which priority you think is best for the animation you are playing so yeah have a play around with this right then that's all for today um, I will make the second part of this tutorial sometime in the near future. Okay then, I hope you enjoyed people. Goodbye.